Hey guys, and welcome back to another week of Porsche Cup action here on iRacing. Uh, it's week five at Zolder. Uh, my name's Matt Emery with Veloce Vexed. Um, you're watching CoachDaveAcademy.com. Um, so yeah, let's firstly get into the hot lap. Uh, so let's get into the hot lap guide then for the Zolder circuit uh, for week five um, of the Porsche Cup car. Um, now your lap starts obviously heading towards the start finish straight um, across the line. So you want to keep it nice and tightly to the right hand side. Um, you've got this wall that runs all along the pit straight. Um, just looking to really keep it as close as we can on the entry without hitting the wall. Um, your braking point, um, you're looking at just at the end um of that wall the orange um marshall post at the end there or the 100 meter boards um whichever is easier to spot um and then your turning point is really the end of this black um coca-cola sign on the right hand side um so you notice i'm starting to turn in there just being really easy with the steering not too much um in terms of movement just easing the wheel in um and then you're really aiming to turn in quite early um and get your car on the inside of this curb um you can use a lot of this curb um and a slight bit of the grass as well um, without getting an off track so just make sure you're using all of the track available to you um third gear through here about 90 degrees of rotation on the apex and then back on full throttle using all the exit curb as well um just getting as close as we can to the gravel on the exit and then back over to the left hand side to open up turn two um now this is quite a strange corner it's a very wide and very long um right hander so it feels like it goes on forever um, and it also leads into the next corner as well. Um, really important to open up as much as you can on the entry. Um, braking um, sort of in line with the edge of the grass here. Um, so this, the pit exit um, just about as it leads onto the track. So just looking to brake about there. Just leads it nice and gently into the corner. Third gear. And back on the throttle just as we get to the apex. Um, it's better to turn in slightly early as the, as the exit is so wide. Um, you can apex slightly earlier and then get on the throttle earlier. Um, so you notice I'm already, you know, half onto the throttle at this point in the corner. We're not even halfway through the corner yet. Um, so using all of the exit as well, up to fourth gear. And you see what I mean? It all leads into one corner. The, the corner following also is a continuation of turn two as well. Um, so full throttle around here. Just least line of resistance um, along turn three. And using this curb on the apex as well. Um, another really tricky corner, um, quite high speed, um, especially in the first couple of laps and in qualifying as well. You'll notice as your front tyres aren't up to temperature, it's really easy just understeer into the gravel here. Um, so turning in quite early, uh, you notice I'm starting to turn in just at the um, edge of this grass here, and where the tarmac ends, just starting to turn in. Um, also braking just towards the end of the gravel on the left-hand side. Um, you, yeah, you gotta. It's better to underdrive this corner so you get a bit of a better exit rather than send it in and then having to, you know, break halfway through the corner so you don't um, go into the gravel. So yeah, just nice and easy on the brake. So you've got a nice arc. I'll go back so you can see that. 
Nice smooth arc on the brakes. Using all of the inside kerb. Um, just be careful you're not using this uh, these rumble strips too much as they do unsettle the car. Um, and they'll send you slightly wide. So you're just getting as close to them as you can without really touching them too much. Um, back on full throttle as early as you can. I actually, actually had to hesitate as I got on the throttle there just as it was under, still a bit under steering. Um, this is on the race set that I've um, I've made. Um, I think it's on lap one or two, so the tyres aren't fully warm yet. Um, out to the edge of the kerb as, as much as you can. Um, obviously, make sure we're not touching the gravel as that will slow us down um, due to the new iRacing update. That was a couple of seasons ago. Obviously, the gravel and the grass slows you down a bit more than it used to. Um, you notice I do slightly touch it, which we can get away with without an off-track um, and losing too much time. But obviously, try and stay away, away from it if you can. Um, now, probably coming into the most painful corner on the track, or a couple of corners, um, which is the first of the chicanes. Um, really, really hard to get right, um, as I found in practice. Uh, so you spot your braking point just in line with this 100 meter board on the right hand side. Um, nice and smooth on the brakes. Now it's really easy to, you know, go slightly deep here and then fly over the second curb. And believe me, the car launches over this one. Um, and it's really easy to pick up a slowdown and an off track. Um, so braking slightly higher than you would expect. Hopping over this first curb, just make sure we're not hitting this white um, sausage on the apex as it does unsettle the car. And then flying over the second one as well. And you see even, I didn't really touch the curb too much and the car's all over the place on the exit. Um, it is still slightly quicker just to take these sausage curbs, um, but the car doesn't like it too much. So don't, you're not wanting to hit this part at all because um, it will send you flying. Um, and I've hit that barrier a couple of times in practice. So um, just bear that in mind. It's quite a tricky corner to get right. You're going to take a bit of practice, a um, few laps to get your eye in for this one. Um, but full throttle, using all of the exit as well. And then we hop over the um, little crest here, swoop back down to the left, um, and we're just starting to break towards the end of this curb on the left-hand side that we run all the way around. Uh, just be nice and gentle on the brake. And then using a slight bit of the curb, just open up the corner slightly. Second gear, throw it in to this second chicane. Um, now you're aiming really just for the start of these sausage curbs on the right-hand side. If you go too far over, you'll get an off track or a slowdown. Um, and it's the same again with this second part of the chicane. So something to look out for, just aiming for, to get your wheel just into this sort of divot into the curb. Just to get that nice rotation. Um, again, same with this one, just aiming to get your, your front left just inside these um, start of the sausage curbs. Um, again, you go too far, um, you get an off track. So just be careful with that. Um, cutting all this um, red and white curb though, that's not a problem at all. Just obviously make sure or not cutting too much um, and what that does is it opens up this next right hander as well so it just means you can stay further to the left um, and then short shift up to third gear through here again just touching the start of the sausage curbs just being really patient with the throttle and using all of the exit curb as well I'll just play it through for you in cockpit camera just so you can see that once more so yeah just aiming for these inside sausage curbs Cutting this left one quite a lot. We've got a lot of lock on as well, you'll notice. And then short shifting up to thirds just to make sure the um, the rear tyres aren't slipping too much. And we've got nice traction. Um, we're not spinning the, the rear tyres up too much. Um, also means we don't get any oversteer as well. Um, so yeah, using all of this exit curve as well. You notice I actually got a bit of understeer here. So I had to have another crack at the um, the throttle. Usually, you get, After a couple of laps, you can take it flat out this corner. Um, but as I said, it was quite early in the stint. So yeah, I had to have a small lift there just to make sure we got the front end in. Um, and slightly missed the apex there as well. So just looking to run this curb as much as you can. Again, making sure we're not touching the rumble strips just as it really does unsettle the car and you end off, you end up in the gravel um, over here. Um, and then we come through to towards the end of the lap then, one of the first um, hairpins on the track. Um, so braking nice and gently in a straight line down to second gear, nice and smooth, using all of the apex curve that we can. Um, and this is a corner, if you really nail the exit, you can gain, you know, a couple temps here. Um, just also helps look after the tyres if we're nice and smooth on the exit. Using all of the um, exit curve as well, so you can run all of this part of the curb just to maximise your exit speed. And nicely done on the exit, no wheel spin at all, which is what we need. And then we head down to the final chicane to end the lap. 
Um, again, just braking in line with the 100 meter board on the right hand side. Down to second gear. Um, you, you can't really touch these two inside sausage curbs. Um, it's very harsh on off tracks here, this, this first apex. But this second corner, you can cut them quite a lot. You see, I've noticed I'm all over the sausage curbs here. Um, and you have to cut it quite a lot to get an off track. So slightly different for each corner here. This one's very harsh. This one's a bit more lenient, so you can cut this one a lot. And then back on full throttle as early as we can, using all of the exit curb as well. Making sure we don't touch the gravel on the left-hand side. Um, and then that completes a lap of the Zelda circuit. So that was the hot lap guide then for the Zolder circuit for week five here on iRacing. I um, hope you guys enjoyed that. Obviously, I've been Matt Emery um, with Veloce Vex, and this has been CoachDaveAcademy.com. Obviously, check out the website, um, all the latest data packs, um, as well as I mentioned, coaching as well. Um, and obviously, go down to the Discord as well. Any questions you've got, someone will be able to help you there. Um, but other than that, I will see you next week for week six for Road America, I believe. So take care, guys.